What's up, y'all? Um, I, um, <laughs> I just got, I just parked my car. Sorry, I'm a little scattered. My earrings say karma is a bitch, and they're new from a little shop here in Taranaki. And um, I just had such a an intense and tender encounter, and I needed to share about it because I feel like there's something for us in it. There's something for us all to learn in it. Um, um, <laughs> and right before I got on here, I was trying to do this "What's up, y'all?" and I didn't have my seatbelt on, and I was, and I and I knew that someone in my community was going to lovingly scold me for not having my seat belt on and I was thanking you for your genuine care um and then I felt really like this moment of emotion because that was what I wanted to talk about was like this this experience that I'm having today of genuine care and and how transformative that experience can be for us and how we get to find ways every single day to cultivate it um and how sometimes our genuine care obscures our harm um and so how do we become more intentional so i was picking up a gift um it was a little open air market um and uh right down the street uh, in downtown new plymouth beautiful little um old old ladies um selling knitted goods and teddy bears and i was getting something um for my friend who just had a baby and a woman, one of the women, the woman who sold me the teddy bear said, uh, are you, are you from two things it's just occurred to me. So I'm going to show you the teddy bear because he's so cute. Uh oh, where's his hat? It's in here. Okay. He has a little hat. <laughs> Look at the buddy and he has a little hat <laughs> and he reminds me of Paddington bear. And so I got him. So anyway, and sent him good love and energy um, so that when um, when my sweet little new nibbling cuddles him, it has all of your good energy in it. All right, here's what I wanted to say. Um, the woman who sold it to me said, are you from America? And I, she said, are you American? Are you from America? And I said, I am. And she said, oh, I'm so, I'm so glad that you're here right now and you're not there. And, um, and I said, well, actually I'm on my way back in a day, in two days. And she said, oh, and she touched my shoulder with such She meant it, she said, please be safe, please be, please be safe, please be careful there, it's not, it's not very safe there. And I was so taken aback by what felt like, I mean, one, I, just, I mean, it's so layered, right? The experience of being from a place where someone so far away from that context, it was clear that she knew that my blackness is what put me in danger. This little old white woman in New Zealand knew that it was my blackness in the U.S., it made it not safe for me. She knew that they kill black people in the US. And, and so that was jarring, jarring to, to be confronted with that knowledge in the way that that knowledge lives in the world. It was, it was also equally profoundly beautiful this complete stranger um touched my shoulder and i could feel her genuine concern for me it felt 
so true and so humane that she wanted me to be safe and that she genuinely cared for and about my safety. And I thought about what a gift it is to care for each other like that. And it, you know, and of course it takes me back to buy back black de debt because ultimately that is what it is that I believe this project opens is the experience of giving real care and the experience of receiving real care in a world, in a society like the US where there is so little care for black people. So little care that a little white woman in New Zealand knew that there was so little care, that there is something reparative deeply spiritually reparative about acts of deep intentional care and like i said that deep and intentional care shifts it, it, it is not you know it is not simply money um, it just happens to be that there is real damage and harm done right um by the systems in the u.s that that make money a way of of offering, you know, real care, of remedying real harm. Um, in this moment, this little old woman on the corner, her deep act of care was to say, I see the danger that exists for you. And I want you to know that I'm wishing you protection. So there's that piece, right? There's there's what becomes possible in these acts of deep care, right? That they, they're so healing. Um, the other piece though, that I think is important and that I don't want us to miss, is that what that little, that little woman here didn't really, for her, the fact that I was in physical danger, right? By her perception was what required my deep care. And what I want white people to understand as a whole is that it is your every, it is the everyday life of blackness that is where we need your care, where we need, where we need humanity, where we need the treatment, where we need what I, me and uh, my pickled pineapple Keisha uh, mad question asker on Instagram um, a black love ethic right a black love ethic that doesn't wait until we're being murdered to care for us that doesn't wait until we've been pillaged for 400 years to care for us that doesn't that doesn't wait to care for us and what this woman didn't realize in this land is that there's a way in which because the violence isn't visceral like a hand on a knee or like a knee on a neck, um, that there's a way in which, you know, Pakiha in, in Aotearoa do not show any care for Maori, for Pacific Islanders, you know, for the indigenous people and the brown people that live on this land. And that there are opportunities every single day to exist in deep and profound care with one another. You know, what we call microaggressions are really, they're not microaggressions, they're just daily violence. That's all. You know, there's like acute violence and then there's just daily violence. And an act of care is to explore where you are doing daily violence and repair it. Um, so I just needed to talk about that. Uh, I'm going to start a monthly session called Repair, where I answer the questions that you all ask me. You know, I've been resistant to answering questions, and that's because it's it is labor. It's a lot of labor. Um, it is you know, it's one thing to give what just comes up in me. It's a whole other thing have to be responsive 
you know, and responsive to uncertainties and ignorances and biases. And here's the deal, y'all. Y'all be asking questions that everybody's asked. So in some ways, I'm answering the same thing that white people have been asking for 400 years. And so that's exhausting. So I'm starting a uh, uh, talk called Repair. It'll be twice a month. Um, it'll be on Patreon because it is a place where I'm going to ask folks to um, commit on a regular basis if they want to have access to that level of my labor. Um, and you're going to get a subscription and then you're going to buy a subscription for a black person. And then you all are going to be in a relationship of accountability so that you're not learning on black people, um, that you're learning benefits black people. Right, so it's not an intellectual idea, it's a lived idea. So I'll give you more information about that. Be looking out for that. But today be looking out for how you can genuinely, authentically care for somebody. I'm so cared for right now. I want to thank um, Brenda from Creating Safer Spaces for this beautiful initiative to buy back my student loan debt. I woke up this morning in tears. I went to bed in tears. I'm moved by the level of care. We all have the opportunity to give that to somebody. All right.